Amen. God bless you and welcome to this Friday devotional here. And, um, you know, this one's actually titled after an old game show uh, that I'm sure that some of you, when you hear it, you're going to be like, oh, I remember that. It's called Let's Make a Deal. And um, this one's based on, on a, a series of scriptures of a parable that Jesus um, was sharing. And the first one, first portion of scripture we're going to look at is found in Matthew chapter 20, verses 1 and 2. And it says, For the kingdom of heaven is like the landowner who went out early one morning to hire workers for his vineyard. He agreed to pay the normal daily wage and sent them out to work. You know, kind of to begin the preface of all this, um, I want you to think about a contract. And a contract binds uh, two parties. Um, when you buy a home, when you buy a car, when you buy uh, you know, any kind of possession that you have and you take a loan or you sign for it, uh, that's a contractual agreement that you're agreeing to the, the payment that you're going to make, whether it's on a monthly basis, quarterly, annual basis, whatever the situation is. And, you know, this is kind of what happened here. There was an, a contractual agreement that was made in the sense that the men were promised to be paid a normal day's wage, which was a denarius, one denarius. And in this parable, the work were they agreed to that that payment and so um, they were pretty much felt like they were lucky to be hired at that point and so later the landowner hires more people but instead of a contract he offers a promise and that's found in Matthew chapter 20 verse number four he says so he hired them telling them he would pay them whatever was right at the end of the day that's a promise. He made a promise to them that he was going to pay them a fair wage at the end of the day. Well, with only one hour left to work, he finds a group of workers whom no one has actually hired at this point. And to these men, he actually says this, and it's found in Matthew 20, verse number seven. They replied, because no one hired us, the landowner, landowner told them, then go out and join the others in my vineyard. And so when the foreman pays the workers at the end of the day, the ones who worked for just one hour, surprisingly, they receive a full day's pay. The earlier workers complain, and it actually sounds a little justified. How come they get paid the day's wage? They only worked an hour when I worked the entire day. Well, in Matthew 20, verse number 12, it says, Those people worked only one hour, and yet you've paid them just as much as you paid us who worked all day in the scorching heat. But the landowner reminds them of the contract they happily made that morning. The first workers were given a legally binding guarantee. The second group received just a promise. The final ones could only hope in the landowner's goodness. Each was rewarded in proportion to the faith it took to go into the vineyard. Which means this that I share with you. Whatever God has called you to do, you can't compare it to what he's called another to do. He's called you to do a purpose, and it may be for a longer season within their life, and yours even seems longer because God has called you early on. But isn't it just, just be grateful that he called you, that he's using you? The, the thing is that it's proportional to your faith, and I, and I would tell you that if you're looking for God to utilize you in any moment, he will. But whatever he's going to reward you is based on what he sees fit. And you have to understand that it's according to your faith. What's most important is that God is calling you. Don't compare. Don't look to others. Don't wage against one another. Thinking, is there a way that I can get more or less? The Lord just wants to use you right where you're at. And be grateful for what he continues to bless you in. There will be good seasons. There may be tight seasons, but in the end, it's going to be the season that's best for you within your life. And I trust the Lord in that. And I think you should too. Bow your heads with this, we pray. We thank you, Lord. And, and uh, you know, the idea of let's make a deal, it's, it's, it's a little comical. And when we try to, to do that with you, in reality, Lord, we just need to be grateful. And we need to understand that you have, oh God, only the best interest in our hearts, Lord. And, Whatever you choose to use us, we should never compare to how you've blessed somebody else. Your blessings are from your hand and you see fit what is right and good. And I thank you for that, Lord. I ask you, Lord, that our hearts would always be centered on serving you, not what we receive from you. I thank you, God, that you will provide and I know that you always will supply and you'll give us what exactly what we need.
I thank you for this devotional. It's a fresh reminder of who you are in our lives and how we just always need to look to you. I pray blessing over your children now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and may he give you peace throughout this week. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Well, thank you for joining us this Friday. I pray that you had a wonderful week. And, you know, as we prepare again for uh, another service and a time for us to gather, I want to remind you that tomorrow is our cleanup day. We are going to be um, cleaning and preparing the church and uh, getting ready. And then we're also going to be doing some things around the church. So if you have some hands that you want to lend here for the church, uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. We gather here roughly uh, about 10 o'clock. And uh, we're, we're only here usually for a couple hours. And, and then uh, we make our way home. But uh, I, thank you so much for all those can make it out and then just remind your Sunday we are back in service in person 10 a.m. Uh, or if you can join us uh, if you can't join us in person uh, Facebook live but we look forward to seeing you Lord bless